Hey guys, Mike Lear from Brick Brothers Productions, and today I am bringing you guys long awaited how I built Kashyyyk or tips and tricks on how to build Kashyyyk. And so, in this building video, I'm going to be showing you um, how I built the um, pole, the Kashyyyk pole, the barrier, and the little spikes in the ground. And I am also going to be giving you some tips on how to build the tree. So, anyways, guys, let's get right into this. So, I'm going to be starting off with the Kashyyyk pole. And so this is a pretty simple build, um, completely my design. Uh, I'm just going to start with the bottom. And so we just have some 2x2 two two cylinders here. Um, just stack them up just to create the main pole, so that's very simple. And then on top of that, I got this barrel piece, which you can get pretty easily on Brick Owl or Brick Link. And so um, this, I just stuck a 2x2 two two cylinder in the middle. And so that will just stick right on the bottom of the cylinders there, right on top. And then the the other cylinder will go in this inside there. And then we have the main belt here. And so you can actually fold these flaps down. And I'll just start with this here. And so this is one of these um, clip pieces here, these circular clip pieces. And what I did is I built lots of these little um, panels here that I just stuck all around to make the circular um, sides. And then, um, so here's how I built um, the thinner one here is just a clip there, a 1x2 plate, a 1x4 plate, and then a 1x2 on the back, and then a 1x3 on top. So I'll let you look at that for just a second. And then the bigger one, and since this has to be in the middle, the clip has to be in the middle, I just put a jumper um, jumper plate right there so I can stick it in the middle of the plate. And then you stick a 1x2 um, clip under that and then a 1x4 on top of that in the middle of the jumper. And then this 1x2 reddish brown on the back and then I put a dark reddish brown 1x2 um, tile on the front just to add some extra texture. So I'll let you get a look at that. And then what you do is you build four of each and then you stick them on all of the sides which then creates your um, the panels here. Now we got those built. And we're going to build the top here. So I just got some cylinders here just to stack up. And then two little plates on the top just to make it so the panels line up with the top here. And then I just built a brick built um, top here, which is really simple. You can probably just figure this out, but um, there's a little bit of a look at that. And then you just stick that on top of here. And then that you stick on top of this. And make sure like the, the big sides here are with the big plates so they match up. And then what you can do is you can fold up all the panels, and then that creates your top. And then what you can do is you can stick that in the barrel there, which then creates your finished Kashyyyk pole. So the next thing I want to show you guys are the barriers here, as well as these little spikes here that stop um, corporate lines tanks from coming onto the beach. And so I'm going to show them both um, at the same time, pretty much. So these are very simple. You just take um, one of these clips sticking onto these pieces and then I got one of these um, clips here and just stuck it on the back. That was very simple and but I think they do the job well and they look really cool. And so for the barrier here, um, this one is a little bit more complicated, it's still pretty easy though. And so if I just take one off here. Um, so what it is, is it's two of these pieces right here, stuck on the bottom of these 1x2 uh, slopes here, and then a 2x4 plate on top with some slopes here, some 1x1 one one and a 1x2 there. And then on the top, I just put some grill pieces here just to add some texture with the different colors. And so if you, you can build however many of those as you want. 
I built three in this case, but if you want a bigger barrier, you can build um, more. And then what you do is you start from the top and you just like um, bring it down one brick as you go along. And then at the end you can add some extra um, slopes too if you want. But that's how I built that. So now we shall move on to the Kashyyyk tree. So here is the Kashyyyk tree. Um, so this is just a little representation of um, what, it, what it was kind of like on the big mock. Um, so as you can see it's used a lot of these slopes here. Um, these 2x3 slopes or something. These 1x4 or whatever, I don't know. But you can probably just tell by looking at them. Um, all the different pieces that we use, some 1x1 one one cylinders even, some cheese slopes, 1x1 um, one one slopes, I mean 1x2, some of these um, groove pieces here which are really useful, would really recommend using those if you're building a tree, adds a lot of texture and makes it look really good. Um, so, and I just want to tell you guys this before you start, as you can see here in my repetition, I don't have any filler brick in the back, but I would almost like certain you really need filler brick um, if you're building a big structure like the Kashyyyk tree or the mountain because if not you will get really annoyed because let's say you're gonna go put a slope down here and then it just falls off so then maybe it's stuck down in the center of your tree or behind your mountain and then you try to put it back on and then some more bricks may fall or something like that um, so I would just recommend using the um, filler brick and so you won't get all mad whenever um, the bricks, the slopes come off because I did not use too much, I used filler brick but not as much as I should have used and so it kept falling down so that was really annoying so I would really 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 recommend using filler brick because that makes the structure strong. So um, anyways actually to onto the build now, um, as you can see here it's fairly simple all you need to do is just um, try and get a round base started for the tree and then kind of build off from there. And don't try and slope it in too much uh, because um, as you see this isn't sloped in too much here. But let's say if you just go and you try and slope it up a whole lot, you know, um, and you put like this and then like this, your tree's going to get um, really thin towards the top so I would recommend kind of not sloping it up too much um, unless you're building a thinner tree um, but yeah you can use some cheese slopes here some cylinders for some extra detail too because the cheese slopes um, act as a good thing to um, smooth the tree out a little bit so you can put some on the end there um, or like it's here where a stud was left loose you can put a cheese slope on there to make it look a little um, smoother um, but yeah, these group pieces are really useful because um, um, they add a lot of texture. Uh, so yeah, and you can even mix in some dark reddish brown if you really wanted to, um, but I didn't in the tree. Um, so yep. So I hope this um, helped you out. Maybe you're trying to build a tree or something. Um, and it's also as far as like the top of the leaves go, it's very simple. You just gotta stick leaves together. And just Kind of make a cool design for that. Um, just kind of experiment. Um, just try and find really everything. Um, if you're trying to build something like the street, you pretty much gotta experiment with it and just keep trying until you find something that works. Um, so, anyways, guys, I hope that this um, tutorial did um, help you out in some way. And if it did, be sure to leave a big like and subscribe. We're almost at 150, guys. We're so close. Uh, we've been sitting at like 148, 147 for a while. Um, so it'd be awesome if we could get to 150 subscribers, guys. Um, so please help uh, us out with that. And be le leave a comment down below if this did help you out, because that'll um, uh, um, that'll help me with making more maybe tip videos like this. And if you didn't enjoy this, um, leave a comment down below as well if you want to see more how to builds, because we haven't been doing those too often. Um, so. Thank you guys so much for watching, um, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye!